वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर थ्री ऑन द टॉपिक वर्क एंड हीट बाय प्रोफेसर प्रशांत एस शेडवाड़कर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वी एस एम एस आर के आई टी निपानी सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय हीट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय वर्क हाउ द एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड वर्क आर क्रॉसिंग द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ अ क्लोज सिस्टम and how heat and work are represented in the previous class we have studied and also we have studied what are the similarities between heat and work so there we have studied uh, both heat and work they are dependent on the path followed not on the end states so now let us prove that uh, work is a called a path function so here we have considered here a three processes one is process a that means the system is moving from state 1 to state 2 by following path a i will call it as a process one process a and another system it is reaching from state 1 to state 2 by following path b i will call this as a process b and another a uh, system it is reaching from state 1 to state 2 by following path c we we'll call it as a process c so now you can see here we are having three paths path a path b and path c that is the system is reaching from state 1 to state 2 along these three paths since the area under each curve represents the work done for each process since the area under each curve so this is one curve so the area under this curve it represents the work done during process a and the area under this curve this entire thing this area under each curve it represents the work done for process b and the area under this curve it represents the work done during the process c so roughly i have written here for this area work done during process a is 8 kJ similarly the work done during this process b is 10 kJ similarly the work done during this process is 12 kJ because the area under each curve it represents the work done for each process and the area under each curves are different they are not same here the area under each curves are not same here so we can easily tell that the amount of work done in each process it does not depends on the end states of the process but it depends on the path followed during the process from state 1 to state 2 for this reason work is called as the path function because see here so this area is different if we if the system is reaching from this uh, state 1 to state 2 through this path here the area is different that means definitely the work done is different if the system is reaching from state 1 to state 2 the area under this curve is different definitely the work done will be different here also the work done will be different so easily we can tell that the amount of work done in each process it does not depends on the end states of the process but it depends on the path followed during the process from state 1 to state 2 for this reason work is called a path function and these path functions have in exact differentials because if i am following this path work done is different here if i am following this path work done is different for that purpose the path functions always have inexact differentials and they are designated by the symbol delta w or delta q instead of dw or dq instead of dw or dq see here you can see here if the work done is different for different processes then definitely the heat transfer will be different only because as the area increases the heat transfer also increases 
see this area is different and definitely the heat transfer will be different here and the if i find for this area again heat transfer will be different here for this much area the heat transfer will be different here for that purpose we are calling both heat and work are path function they are not dependent on the end states of the process they are mainly dependent on the path which is followed during the process next now we'll prove that properties are the point functions you can see here when the system is reaching from state 1 to state 2 no doubt the areas are different here but if we consider the change in volume during this process process a the change in volume during process b the change in volume during process c or same if we follow process a volume change is 3 meter cube only that is v2 so, so before that let me explain here these properties they have exact differentials and they are designated by the symbol d you can see here for this process a small change in volume during the process is represented by dv this change in volume and the total volume change during a process between states 1 and 2 it is represented by the symbol integration of 1 is to do dv so this dv means it is nothing but v2 minus v1 or we can call it as delta v also all the meanings are same here and this volume change during the different processes are same regardless of the path followed you can see here if i follow this path the change in volume is same only that is 5 meter cube final volume minus initial volume it is 3 meter cube only if i will follow this path the change in volume is same if i will follow path c here also the change in volume is same you can see here for process a process b and process c the change in volume is same for different processes regardless of the path it has followed hence we are calling it as these are nothing but the point functions these are mainly dependent on the end states they are not dependent on which path it is following that only i have given you example if we follow this path also the volume change is same if i follow this path also volume change is same if i follow this path also volume change is same here for that purpose we are we call that it, these properties are the point functions because they are mainly dependent on the end states and not on the path which is followed during a process so now let us study uh, next uh, what do you mean by uh, moving boundary work or pdv work so let us consider a gas which is enclosed in a piston and the cylinder arrangement so this is my cylinder so this is the piston in which the gas is enclosed in a piston cylinder device let p be the initial pressure of the gas and v be the volume of the gas and where a is the cross sectional area of the piston now if the piston is allowed to move through a distance ds in a quasi equilibrium manner means in a very slow process in a slow manner then the work done during this process how we are going to write delta w is equals to f into ds force into distance so already we know that a pressure is given by the formula p is equals to force per unit area so therefore f is equals to p into a so therefore this f is replaced by pressure into area into ds it remains as it is so cross sectional area of the piston so this area into this length that is it is nothing but dv that is change in volume you can see here this length into this cross sectional area so i can replace this a into ds by dv so this expression so how i will write now delta w is equals to p into dv so this expression explains us why the moving boundary work it is called as the p into dv work now you can see here 
the total boundary work during the entire process as the piston moves from state 1 to state 2 it is obtained by adding all the differential works so how i will write the total work done w is equals to integration of 1 is to 2 it indicates from state 1 to state 2 the piston is moving so it is given by p into dv so you can see here so this is uh, pressure and this is volume so this is the system is changing from state 1 to state 2 so this is my process path so here i have considered the change in volume dv here so definitely if i will consider this change in volume uh, during this process is the dv and i will consider this as the area so the since the area under each curve it represents the work done so i will consider this area small area as the da so da how it is given p into dv because area under each curve it represents the work done work done how we are going to represent it by p into dv only here you can see here the piston is moving from this position to this position this is sketch only here it is see on this diagram the differential area da is equals to p into dv which is the differential work here it is so if i want to write this is the differential work if i write only p into dv so the total area if i want for this entire area how we will write for process curve 1 is to 2 by adding all these differential areas that is area a is equals to integration of 1 is to 2 da is nothing but integration of 1 is to 2 p into dv so already we know that since the this entire area it represents the work done during this process so area a if i want to calculate this entire area a how will i represent this integration of 1 is to 2 da differential area that means i am going to add all these differential areas then it indicates total area so this i can represent it by this symbol 1 is to 2 da is nothing but p into dv which is the differential work here 